Tonight, I'd like to show you one of the world's great cameras, the magnificent new Retina Reflex by Kodak. This camera is for the professional and the advanced amateur. It's been acclaimed both here and abroad as one of the world's really great cameras. Remember, when the camera you choose is made by Kodak, you know it's good. This camera is a piece of sh**. So about a year ago, I picked this camera up for $10 at a thrift shop, and I've been regretting spending those $10 ever since. When I first picked this up, I actually thought it didn't work because I couldn't get the shutter to fire, but I figured out a way to make this thing work. It's a little trick I used. I hit this thing with the baseball bat, and now it works fine. <coughs> no, I'm just kidding. This camera is actually one of my favorite cameras. Um, I believe this is the world's first SLR camera. I could be wrong on that. I also think it's super interesting how it's a Kodak camera. You know, it's made by Kodak, so you know they're good. While being one of my favorite cameras, it is a little frustrating to use. Number one, the viewfinder is absolute garbage. It's dim, dirty, can barely see anything out of this thing. Focusing is a nightmare. The other thing is the winding get stuck even after you take a picture oh wow there you go so you heard that <sighs> happened right in front of you basically what happened there is i pressed the shutter nothing happened you heard a little click and i had to like wind the film to the next frame basically wasting a whole exposure so yeah other than that this thing is really fun to use honestly uh it's quirks really just makes the camera, the fact that it has a winding knob, lever thing on the bottom is just really just unique. As you know, most SLRs have the winding lever on top of the camera to make it easier to wind with one hand. Um, however, this camera, it's on the bottom. It comes with the 50mm 2.8 lens. Um, the highest shutter speed is 500. There was a working light meter at one point. However, I think it died a long time ago. So that makes this camera 100% manual, which is fun. It's challenging, no electronics, no nothing. It's just really bare bones. So about two weeks ago, I took a trip to North Carolina. I decided to bring this with me, along with five other cameras. My original plan was to shoot two rolls through this thing. However, I only managed to shoot one roll. I'll tell you why later. Um, so yeah, uh, with that being said, Enjoy the video. So it is currently the second day here in North Carolina. I am in Greensboro right now, heading to Asheville. So yeah, never been to Asheville, never been to Greensboro, never been to North Carolina, so I'm kinda excited. Yeah, it's a lot of fall leaves color. We don't get that in Florida at all because it's always hot and green and humid and raining and hell, so. <clears throat> I think it's this one, right? Do I sound stupid? Yes. So I'm now walking along the road here. Uh, I'm trying not to get lost. I didn't, there's a gas station here. It's hard for cliche, but I'm gonna go for it.
Oh, you were expecting more pictures? Well, so was I. So I didn't load that last roll of film correctly, the T-Max. Um, Rewatching the footage, it looks like I did, but I didn't. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Um, yeah, I've been shooting film for two years now, and this still happens to me. It really just happens to the best of us, I guess. Um, accidents do happen. There is a way to prevent this. You just need to know what the hell you're doing, um, which I clearly don't, so. But yeah, super bummed I didn't get those T-Max pictures. I shot an entire roll out there. I only realized when I got to frame 41 that I made a mistake. And by that time, I was back in Florida, so I couldn't just... I can't just go back to North Carolina and retake those pictures, so... Yeah, that sucks. Another thing I wanted to mention was that while I was out there shooting the Kodak Gold, my camera did run into winding issues. Um, I lost a few frames. I spent about 10 minutes out there in the cold trying to fix this damn thing. Um, I got really frustrated, so I walked back to the hotel and fixed it inside. Forgot to film the whole entire process. I should have filmed it. It would have been great content, but I need to get better at this. So while I was troubleshooting this camera, I did take a few photos um, just to test out the camera and see if it works. And here are those photos. <laughs> I'm a really big fan of how this camera renders black and white film, so I'm actually really bummed out the fact that the T-Max didn't load correctly, or I didn't load the T-Max correctly. But as I said earlier, I did shoot plenty of rolls through this thing, both color and black and white. So here are some of those photos. So that was my experience with one of the world's, world's great, great cameras. cameras. Great fun little camera. Uh, can be a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. Clearly not the world's greatest photos, but considering its age and the fact that it's a Kodak camera, pretty damn surprised of the picture quality this thing produces. So yeah, with that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed the video because I certainly didn't enjoy making it. Do expect more North Carolina videos. Um, I shot plenty of film out there through plenty of different cameras. <laughs> so yeah, till next time.